Hey friends, today in this video we will learn about the file server resource manager. Basically this is also called FSRM and this is uh, built in features uh, in Microsoft Windows Server operating system for managing storage uses and uh, uh, monitoring it as well. So you need to just install this FSRM first in your uh, server operating system then you can control and you can use the features and capabilities of uh, uh, of file server resource manager or FSRM so let's start if you have already installed this FSRM so you will be able to see inside the tools and uh, file server resource manager but if you haven't installed it so just go on the add roles and features click on the next and here click again next because this is the role based installation now I will click on the next and uh, FSRM is the part of files and storage services so you need to just expand the file and ser storage services and again file and ISKG services and now file server resource manager because I have already installed this on my server so this is showing like installed and on the right side here you can see the description of the the file server resource manager how this helps administrators so you can see inside the descriptions if you want to learn about uh, file server resource manager in detail so just go on my web blog website that is infoelias.com and here you can see i am just writing blogs on various technologies so currently I'm just focusing it on FSRM so I'm going to open this and uh, now you can see these all are the capabilities that you can use for your file servers by using FSRM so first you can control the quota limit of your shared drive as well as also you can control the file screening like if you don't want to allow unwanted files like uh, videos or audio files uh, for uh, any shared drive so you can use the file screening similarly you can use storage reports classifications file management tasks so these all features and capabilities are available inside the FSRM so let's see how we can use because I already installed this so I will go on the tools and I will open the file server resource manager now once I just opened this so I can see there are the various tabs are available and uh, all tabs having various features and capabilities so we'll start it from quota management so in the quota management you can create the quota and all quotas which are already created that will comes inside this in this dashboard like quota path the limit quota type source templates match templates and descriptions whatever that you have specified so let's start by quota create quota and in this quota templates you have the various type of templates the limits which are specified so let's see first for by selecting any folder where I will apply the quota I'm going to select IT admins folder now click OK and here you have the in built list of quota limits you can select any one of them as per your storage capabilities so and if you want to create your own custom quota so just select custom properties and specify the limit like 5 MB or 5 GB you can select this one from this list so I'm just going to specify 5 MB over here and you have two options like hard quota and soft quota so if you are going to select hard quota so it means you are completely uh, denying the users to copying the lim the data whatever that you have specified the limit like uh, you cannot copy the data l data above 5 MB because if you are going to specify like 5 MB over here so this will comes but if you have specified 10 MB so this will apply as 10 MB so currently I'm going to select 5 MB and this will be the hard quota but if you are going to select soft quota so this will allow users to exceed limits it is only for the monitoring purpose and here in the description you can specify the email address of the folder owner 
or whatever that you want so this is completely optional and it completely depends on you like amit.kumar at infoelias.com so this will help administrators to see who is the owner of this shared drive so they can increase or decrease the quota limit later as well by informing this email address now i'm going to click on ok and click on the create once you click create so it is asking save the custom properties as a template so because i just create i'm i'm just using a new template so this will help us to save the templates like uh, 5 MB as well so you can select here like and you can specify your your own templates like uh, 5 MB click on OK now this has been created and this has listed over here inside the quota and if you go on the quota template so my new templates has been saved and we can use these templates for other quota configurations as well similarly if you just want to use the features like file screening so just go on the file screening management and uh, file screens here you can create your file screen suppose if you want to just block the audio or video files for uh, for all users on this path so you can select the path and you can specify the type of files that can be prohibited on this shared path or, or on this folder and you have more list over here and you can select any one of them but if you want to create your own custom file screen properties so just you can select this one and you can specify the files and file types and uh, you can send the email notifications as well and uh, suppose i'm just going to select this one if in case anyone who is just copying uh, audio and or video files so you can configure the email notifications like who had attempted to uh, to uh, to copy the data like audio and video you can select the email notification like you need to specify admin email address as well as also send email to the user who attempted to save an unauthorized files so you can configure you have the capabilities such capabilities inside the file screening and you can create the event log as well like warning event log command reports and all so you can configure the file screening custom file screening by selecting this one but as of now i'm just going to select block executables files on this shared path and we'll click on the create so again this has been listed inside the file screen dashboard S similarly how we how we have just worked with the quota templates you have also an options like file screen templates here you can create your own file screen templates by specifying the type of files as well as also the file group you can create over here storage reports in the storage reports you can either you can schedule a new report task or you can uh, generate reports now by checking like duplicate if you want to see the duplicate files and you want to 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 generate a report in html or xml or dhtml or csv or txt format so you can do this by using the storage report management now in the file management task here you can create the file management task like if you want to create uh, you if you want to uh, to create a file management task where it will check the file expiry like if you have just specified like after a few days after seven days or after 10 days from today the file will be expired so you can configure inside the file management task suppose i'm just checking uh, i'm just specifying a name file management task enable scope like uh, user files actions like expiry date you can specify the expiry day expiry directory here i just specified the expiry directory and notifications similarly you can just create the notifications how we did inside the file screening and uh, reports reports will be generated as per your requirement conditions 
like what are the conditions need to be checked so days since file was created days since file was last modified you can just select any one of them and you can specify the file name parameters as well like extensions you can specify all docs all xls x files and uh, any financial name is coming inside the uh, inside the file name so you can just select any one of them and specify the conditions and schedule so when it will be apply or when it will execute so so these all features can be configured inside the file management task so you have seen how this file server resource manager helps administrators to managing the storage resources in their IT infrastructure or any organizations so by using file server resource manager you can use these all features and you don't require any third party applications for managing this quota management file screening and storage report management but if you want to use any capabilities of any third party applications so it is completely depends on you how your infra is just asking to to applying any features for your file servers thank you for watching this video